you know, you're going to use digital technology in just about any thread of business that you're involved in today. And so um, to stay up with that, you have to research. You know, certainly you want to take some of those classes if possible uh, in while you're in school. But certainly there's a variety of different ways, um, external classes you can take outside of college. There's just so many different webinars that you can take on the internet that can get you up to date and keep you abreast of what's going on digitally out here in the marketplace. Uh, but again, it goes back to research and due diligence. Look, at the end of the day, one of the things I always tell uh, young people is that you're a student for life. You have to be. You have to be willing to always be open to learning new things. And if you're not, you're not going to be very successful or your success is going to be limited. Social media, it's an ever-changing, ever-evolving thing, so you might be thinking to yourself, oh, this video is probably outdated. It's not because I'm going to say something that's really timeless when it comes to social media or just internet use in general. It's the same piece of wisdom that my mom imparted on me when I was first getting acquainted with how to use the internet. Before you post or send a text or email or something like that in a public forum online or in somewhere that isn't really all that secure, make sure that you'd be okay with that being posted with your name attached to it on the Times Square Jumbotron for everyone to see for an entire month. Now, if you're okay with whatever you're posting being put there in the very unlikely event that you get hacked or something like that, you'll be fine. If you're okay with some random picture of yourself that you post on maybe a private account on Instagram, finding its way to a future employer somehow, because maybe you know them through a friend who's following your private account or whatever. As long as you make sure that you're okay with whatever you post online being seen by everyone, just have that awareness and you'll do okay. Learning new kinds of technology is really, really useful. I took a graphic design class Throughout high school, I was messing around with free graphic design programs to just make sure that I didn't lose any of my skills. I'd look up a tutorial here and there. I'd use different graphic design programs that were free to do something dumb like create a meme or make a PowerPoint I'm presenting for school look a bit nicer. But honestly, I'm really glad that I practiced those skills because now I'm using them at the professional level. And honestly, learning those kind of skills are really, really important because having that kind of knowledge and just practicing it a little bit in your free time looking up an online tutorial here and there makes you stand out a lot to employers and makes you a valuable member of any team.